Now today, we're finally gonna move over to this tab right here called events. Now events are a little different from commands, as instead of being called manually, they're called automatically based on a certain trigger that can be selected right here. So for example, we'll do a really basic one right now. We'll say, on member join server. Now when a member joins a server, it's gonna call these actions right here. Now as you notice, there's actually an input for a temporary variable right here that's gonna store the member that joins. So this is helpful to get information based on what's occurring with this trigger. So we'll call this variable member like that. In fact, we'll call it just mem, you know, just keep it simple. We'll go to the create, we'll create a message and it'll be like, Welcome! We'll insert a temporary variable and make that variable name mem, just like that. So what's going to happen is, when the person joins, it's going to say welcome and then mention the new member just like that. So we'll go to project, run the project, and check it out in Discord. So we'll go, we'll get Discord right here, drag it over like this, and then I'll make someone join the server. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Have them join the server just like this. And as you can see, when that person joins the server, it's gonna say welcome, then their name, just like that. Simple, easy, and pretty awesome. So <laughs> that's, that is pretty much all you gotta do. So let's take a step back and look at everything. First, the event name is just gonna be the name of the event. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect the actual, you know, the usage of the event, but it's helpful for labeling things when you got a bunch of events listed here. So we'll call this the welcome. So. Welcome message, just like that. Now let's create another event for a different function. Right here we can choose stuff like bot initialization, which will make it so actions are called when the bot is initialized, when a bot joins a server, on any message is sent, on an interval, and there's, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff you can do. For now let's try on interval. Now on interval is special because it allows you to define certain actions to occur on an interval defined in seconds. Now it doesn't have to be like seconds. You can, you know, do like half seconds like this, or maybe you can do like, you know, just a multiple seconds, like maybe a minute, maybe two minutes. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you to do the math and then in, in you know, input it into here. So for this, we'll set it so just so something's going to happen every two seconds. We'll then create a, you know, an action. We'll say, uh, this is a message just like that create the action, we'll call this interval like that. And then of course we'll run the project just like this. And now over here on our bots discord and stuff, if we wait a bit, we'll start seeing the bot call the message every two seconds. So once again, it's just something that's really easy to set up and use. So yeah, that, this is a message, <laughs> this is a message. Oof, yeah, so uh, that's that. Finally, let's make one more basic type of event. So we'll go to, I don't know, create a new event. We'll call this any message because the trigger is going to be on any message sent. So for this, we'll just keep it simple, all right? So we'll set it so the message is going to be referenced by the temp variable msg. And then we're going to use the store message info to get information about it. So we'll go to messaging, go to store message info. We'll get the variable temp variable msg, store its, I don't know, I guess we'll store its author into a temp variable called author, and then we'll do it again. So create a thing, go to messaging, store message info, get the message temp variable, and store the, uh, I guess, store the channel, I guess? And then we'll store this into channel. And then we'll send a message that says, this message was sent in, and then we'll input a temp variable called channel, and, sent by and then we'll input the author so author just like that and we'll hit a period right there and we'll create that action and then we'll run the bot just like this and we'll watch what happens when we send a message so we'll wait for that to turn on Oof, there we go and then we'll say blah <laughs> so this message was sent in general sent by dvm dev oh man it's still doing the thing all right we'll go to a new channel like uh test and then the test channel we'll say Hello, and then of course, it'll get the thing in the default channel still. So let's say you want to make it so that we actually send it into the channel where the message is sent. To do this would actually be pretty simple. We'd simply go to our uh, send message. Remember, we stored the channel of the message right here into the temp variable called channel. So all we have to do is go to send message, edit this to send it into the temp variable called channel. 
Now, as you notice, it's actually restricted on how many things you can send it to. That's because an event has a restriction on how, just, you know, how much stuff it has access to based on the trigger. Because with a command, you have access to an author, you know, any mentions and anything else. But with an event, you're restricted to very basic information. So anyway, we'll send it to do that. We'll do project run project like that. And then once again, we'll go back here. You know, we'll just uh, we'll do another one called test two, I guess. And we'll just, you know, say something here. So like, hi. And I'll say, this message sent in test two by DBM dev. Maybe like, blah. There, there we go. It's, it's doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the messages. There we go. See, it's very simple. We have to go to the other account and do it. But I'm, I'm too lazy to get that account right now. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess that's all for this video. Events. They're simple. Try them out. They're really cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. We're done here. Bye for now. Next time, we'll uh, we'll do something else. I don't know. We'll see.